Were there any bishops, particular bishops, in the, among the Australian bishops during the council period that were particularly interested in Cardine and the YCW and the Specialised Catholic Action? Uh, first of all, the, uh, the Archbishop Beovich, who was a great pastoral bishop, didn't have a great knowledge of, of YCW or anything like that. But the, and he was terribly disappointed, upset at the first session of the Vatican Council. He, he came back and he almost wept on my shoulder. Because, yes, and then he went to the second session and came back enthusiastic and remained enthusiastic as, as the, for each of the sessions of the Council of the Three. What happened in the first session that made him well, so dis, um, sad? Yeah, because he he studied in Rome. He 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 loved Rome, and he felt that the bishops were, were, were of the council were pulling down what he held dear. Mm. Uh, and and uh, what happened between the first and the second session? Do you think? Well, I think he saw that it was it was it was for the good of the church, and and that uh, that he 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 voted. His voting was 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 consistent. And what was more important. Then the Archbishop Gleason was, was, was appointed a bishop before that. He was auxiliary at that time, I believe. Yes, and, uh, and he, he, of course, was, was enthusiastic. I think he was time. National YCS uh, yeah, that's right, yeah. I don't know, chairman or something yeah, like that. That's right, yeah, yeah. So he was obviously imbued with the whole... Yes, oh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and he, he was, he was uh, pretty... Uh, in, the, in, the, in the seating... He was, he was almost uh, uh, next to John Paul II. During the council? Yes. Oh, was he? Okay. Yes, yes. He was a junior at that stage. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. did either of them give any speeches during Vatican II? Do you know? If, uh, I don't know. Not don't sure. Know. Huh? Like, I, I read somewhere that only five, there were only five speeches at Vatican II by Australian bishops, but uh, I haven't been able to verify yeah, that. And, that uh, I think yeah. Yeah. But they, they, they seem to be well organised in the sense that they used to meet uh, as, a, as a group of bishops uh, and with Pariti, with Pariti to explain to them what was at stake and so on. I can't remember who the, the Pariti was. Right. I mean, they were Australian Pariti or some of the ones in Rome? I think they might have been some of the ones that were, okay. were sort of... Like those, they used to have lots of regular talks uh, by people yeah. like Congar and yeah, Pavan right. and all yeah, these people. Right. Yes. Okay, so things like that. Yeah. What about any other bishops from any other dioceses or states in Australia? Do you know of any others that would have been particularly uh, interested in the YCW? For example, Prindeville in Perth, I, I believe. Yes. Did you know, did you know him very no, well or at no, all? No, I didn't know him very well. But um, Frank Rush was outstanding. Uh, and he, he, uh, he, he was uh, very much in, you know, for the YCW. What was his background? Had he been a chaplain as a priest or anything? Do you know? No, no, he hadn't. And he was, he was in the diocese. He was a priest from the diocese of Townsville uh, with his family. And uh, then he went to Rockhampton as bishop. And then he was appointed from there to to uh, Brisbane as bishop. Yes. Actually, I also remember meeting him when I was a full timer, well, and uh, yes. I also had that impression that he was very. Um, strongly for the YCW, oh, yeah, that's, that's what right. we felt at that time. Yeah, and, and it was a bit sad in, 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 in see, there was a bishop called Bishop uh, O'Donnell uh, after after Dewey, and he was, I think, a good bishop, but uh, I, I didn't get get. I knew him well, but I couldn't get on to him. Mm -hmm. Not what he was all about, but he was certainly uh, very nice and welcoming me as a new bishop. And what about, oh sorry, go on. Have you, go on, were you going to say something more about him, about O'Donnell? Uh, no, I wouldn't say oh, okay. But I was going to ask you about Guildford Young, because I heard that he had actually been a YCW chaplain at some point before he became a bishop. Yes. you happen to know anything about that? Yes, I think I would. He, he, he was, uh, uh, he, I think he was in the seminary, wasn't he? Well, I don't know the details, but I've seen reference somewhere to the fact that Guildford Young had may have been a chaplain as a young yeah. priest or something like yeah, that. I, I don't know the details. No, I, I don't either, because he went to uh, Canberra Goulburn as, as a auxiliary bishop. Okay. And then he went to, to, went to Hobart as right. a bishop. Right, yeah. Where was he from originally? Which diocese uh, was he? No, I can't Rockhampton. remember. He was from Rockhampton yes, also. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 
anyway, just just to know, were there any other bishops of that generation that you can think of that? Uh, it is, there's one bishop still alive who was at the whole Vatican Council. Bishop Bishop Jobst. Yeah, no, I wasn't thinking of him. Uh, he, uh, that's one. But also the Bishop uh, 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 Miles McEwen. Okay. You know, was Bunbury. Right. And he's been uh, living for many years now in a in a nursing home. I see. And uh, but he he was he was a good chaplain, and uh, he and he's written he's contributed uh, to a, a little book on the Vatican Council. I see. And. He, uh, it, which is it, it, it took bishops who were still living some years ago now, and he he had a little article in it. Mm. And he was a YCW chaplain also, or uh, I I don't remember. Okay, didn't, didn't but he's still him. living in Bunbury, is he? No, no, he's living in Perth. He's living in Perth now, because yes, yes. I'm going to Perth at the end of June, so. Yeah, oh. I don't know whether they, they, you, they allow you to. See yeah. Him because I saw him um, five years ago. And, uh, and and I had a wonderful time with him. Right. And uh, and about the council mm. and uh, his uh, and Irish and uh, they they had a they can celebrated mass. These these are four or five retired priests and bishops, mm. and uh, they'd have a, a chaplain one of the priests would say mass for mm. them. But he'd lead them in the in the mass. They just sit up the front with the stalls on, and then. He um, he met me at the door. We were good friends, Miles McKeon and I. And uh, we um, and then then we, we had a good talk and then we had mass and then we had dinner. And um, he he had arranged to have a special dinner and uh, so there was uh, wine was served. He he, uh, he served it very graciously and and, uh, and then we went into it you know, after the um, the dinner. Luncheon, and we went into his apartment, and we talked again for about the council and that. Mm. So that he he was sort of, uh, I think, a a, a a priest who a bishop who, who who's who's uh, sort of participation in the council was lost for the Australian Church. I see. Yeah. All right. Okay. But he got fairly sick afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't travel. Uh. And now that I mention him also, but I didn't know about Bishop McKeown, but yeah. I, I knew that Bishop Jobst is still alive in um, up in the top of WA there. Yeah, well, he is alive in Austria. Oh, he's in Austria now, is he? Well, he, he oh. went there after the okay. from I see. Oh, I thought he was still in WA. No. Well, oh, he's over in Austria now, is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. He, he must be. Must be. Yeah, he must be close to a hundred, I think. I was just going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me bad. <laughs> yeah. No, I know because yeah. there's a on, you can, on the internet you can find a list of the oldest bishops in the world, yeah, uh, and that, I found his name there actually. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yes. yeah well, he's yeah. back in Austria. But did he ever anything have anything to do with the YCW? Not or that or I know. not not that because he was off with right oh, the far the far reaches yeah. of WA there, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, any other bishops that you can think of from any other well, dioceses or? Uh, oh well, uh, I think that two outstanding ones uh, from the council. Or more than two, but certainly Archbishop Frank Rush mm. was was uh, impregnated uh, with, with the council, and uh, he was a very uh, uh, good man. Mm. You know, and he was quite in, in, intellectually bright too, and uh, and it was great to have him. Uh, uh, and certainly anything that we had in Queensland uh, that. Uh, you know, it would have been something connected with YCW, he'd be there. But, and, uh, and it was a time when the YCW was going downhill fast, you mm. know, in the, in the, from 1970 onwards. Right. Shame. Yeah. And, uh, but I think he would have found that in most places. Yeah, anyway. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and then Gilly Young, uh, for, for his, his, uh, his, uh, his intellectual understanding of the council and, and those documents on, on theology and that he, he was he was brilliant mm -hmm. and also Archbishop Lance Goody from Perth was was uh, he was a sort of a, a pomp well you might say pompous man but, but he didn't mean it he was just good good uh, good 
Uh, 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 he, he was, he was, he was. Well, he, he wasn't. He, he was just a good, good, uh, in front man, you know. And some didn't like him very much, but I always found him quite good. Mm -hmm. What about Archbishop Simmons? Did you ever have much to do no, with him? No, I said that no, it was, it was a tragedy, wasn't it? Well, anyway, yeah, what yeah, happened? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, what his, his personal assistant for all those difficult years that he was coadjutor uh, was was a Monsignor Jim Murray, who was a classmate of mine at Werribee. We we been close friends ever since. And um, but that perhaps doesn't mean anything. But uh, he, he um, but he he uh, kept uh, he kept uh, the uh, the archbishop on you know on the move mm. when he could have just packed up and gone away. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.